Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at trucking companies that do hair follicles or urine or both. We're going to be asking if they can help you guys in the SAP program. A lot of you guys that end up in the SAP program need help with the return to duty status. And in order to do that, you will need to get with a company that is willing to do all of your return to duty drug testing. Okay. With that said, I have made the call to a lot of these companies to see if they can help you. If this is something that can help you out, make sure you hit that like button because it does help the algorithm and it does help get this information out to a lot more drivers that needs to know which one of these companies out here that will be right for them. Also, please hit that subscribe button as well. And if you guys have any suggestions, let us know in the comments below. Abert Express. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We take everything on a case-by-case -case basis. Would one of those cases be if I need help with my return to duty status? That is up there. They make the decisions based on whatever the circumstances were. Um, and once that approval has been given, then your application would be sent on to the recruiting department. How much experience do you guys require? Uh, for most of our positions, at least six months. Onboarding for the drug screening process. Do you guys do urine or hair follicle or both? We are told to have the applicant prepared to do either or. What, what would be my CPM coming in as a, as a new driver with, with about a year and a half experience? It would depend on what position you were um, hired in for. Can you give me a ballpark? Right now, the only thing I have out of Ohio is in Cincinnati, and it is what we call our production and event truck driver that is over the road going on tour with some type of production or event like a concert tour. And you would need to have at least six months of prior experience in the entertainment industry doing some type of hauling for a tour. Um, and while on tour, you would receive $1,800 a week. Venture Express. How much experience do you guys require? Uh, 12 months of experience pulling a 53-foot trailer drive-in within the last three years. Doing onboarding process, the drug screening, do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both? Both. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. No, sir. What would be the starting rate for a driver of my experience? So it depends on the area because we have, you know, a couple of different pay options uh, depending on the job, what's available at that time. And of course, the area that being hired out of uh, if it's a home daily, it would be an hourly pay rate. If it is a regional OTR, it would be a cent per mile pay rate. Ballpark on the OTR? Uh, it depends on how many miles that you're getting that week. If you're getting weekly miles of 3,000 or more per week, you're starting off at 60 cents per mile. If you're getting weekly miles between 2,500 to 2,999 miles per week, you're starting off at 55 cents per mile. And anything below the 2,500 mile mark, you're starting off at 48 cents per mile. We actually require two years experience. Yeah, well, our insurance requires that two years, so we would have to have that two years experience. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. Onboarding for drug screening process, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? We do urine. <laughs> J.M. Bozeman Enterprises. We do require a minimum of two full years of over the road. That's how much experience you guys do require? Yes, sir. Two full years, but I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? No, sir, we don't. We have a zero tolerance policy. Onboarding for the drug screening process, is it urine or hair follicles or both? 
No, just your analysis. Simper mile. Um, without hazmat tank combo as a solo driver, um, you would be at fifty one cent. And with has hazmat tank combo, excuse me, you'd be at uh, fifty four cent. <laughs> Recruiting. How much experience do you guys require? One year of verifiable over-the-road driving. I did go to the website, but the website is providing me information that you guys put on there in 2021. Is the information correct for 2024? I believe so. Um, actually, you know, actually, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that because some things change within the three-year period. All right. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? No, unfortunately, we don't. All right. And for the onboarding process for the drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? Urine. Urine. Do I need my hazmat and tankers to drive for you guys? Yes, you do. Uh, because of the type of freight that we are delivering, yes, it is. that is required. What would be the mileage pay coming in? Okay. So actually, right now, we have two different uh, pay plans. Um, in about a month or so, that's actually about to go up on both ends. But right now, you can either do a guaranteed of $1,700 a week. Uh, you won't get any bonuses on top of that. You just get the guaranteed $1,700. The other, and which is kind of the one that we, if our drivers have you know, quite a few years of experience is the one that we more recommend is a $1,300 a week guaranteed, but then you get the cents per mile bonus on top of that. So it could range you anywhere from 17 all the way up to 2400 a week. All right, there you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls help you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. Who's next? Next, 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 next.